Bomberman, Bomberman, who doesn't love Bomberman? Surely you've played a Bomberman game before, considering there's over 70 of them. I'm a big fan of the Nintendo 64 era of Bomberman games. You know, the adventures, the glory, the jump- Wait, what? Although after this shitty game, which might have been part of the reason that Bomberman's image was forever tarnished, developer Hudson decided to stray away from the adventure concept and focus more on classic Bomberman. But don't get me wrong, I love classic style Bomberman, but there's just something about games like the second attack that make me go, yeah! Rewind a little bit, let's go back to 1998. Nintendo had proven to the world that kart racing games could be extremely successful, and Squaresoft showed everyone that the incestuous breeding of unintelligent creatures for the sake of making money was okay. So the Bomberman franchise, a series known to have all kinds of spin-offs, was going to make something, right? Blue <laughs> What's this? A Bomberman racing game with cute and cuddly creatures? And you can throw bombs? And race against your friends? And bet money from separate memory cards? Oh my god! Hallelujah! Everybody's dancing in the streets. We got an economic surplus and there's this band called NSYNC. And everybody's playing Bomberman Fantasy Race. Except they're not! A game like this should have been hugely successful. So why don't we go ahead and play it so we can see what went wrong. Immediately, you're greeted with a character select screen. No music, just nothing. Let's go with Mike Bomber, he looks cute. All right, all right, enough of the nonsense. Let's get started. Oh yeah, I remember this game now. These controls are fucking terrible. The controls are like dirt. No, really, like the game Dirt. On each and every turn, you're drifting. All you do is drift. You're running, how are you supposed to be drifting? The game even tells you about upcoming turns. It's straight up rally racing. Except none of the challenge. You always win, you can't not win. And when you do win, they make you do the same level again for coins, and you check the shop, but you got no money. So besides the cute Louis you've already seen, there's also Tiras, which kind of resemble rhinoceroses? Yeah, we'll go with that. Let's give them a try, see how they handle. Whoa, it's little I didn't realize the controls could get worse. I think I'll stick with the green Louis. Old faithful here. Sometimes the computer makes the characters just stop and let you win. And guess what? You do win. And you keep on winning, which is par of the course. You play the stage, you win, and on to the next level. But in this game... THERE'S GRINDING! 37 years later, you have enough money to unlock the next fucking course. But of course, now you want the next Louie, so you're stuck grinding forever. Let's go with the pink one here, because he looks adorable. Now, onto the next fucking part of the game. Here we go. Oh wow, he's fast. Am I having fun? Is this, no. No, there's no way that this is fun. I think I'm having fun. This is great. This is great. Well, that shit. Oh, 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 fucking oh, 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 God! What the fuck? What wow. the fuck wow. is wrong with you? Wow! I don't, that's the worst. Wow. Why would you do this? I'm gonna be sick. I'm gonna be sick. How could this happen? Fuck you! Something doesn't sit well with me here, and I think I finally get it. It's hard to have fun when at the beginning of each race, all your opponents just drop every single one of their items and bombard you, and it's just rough. It's just rough! I don't know, maybe I'm just playing the game wrong, I just don't feel very powerful, and it takes any sense of enjoyment out of the game for me, and I feel like I'm just fighting against just doing anything! 
You become so focused on drifting correctly and avoiding projectiles from all your enemies that you don't realize how well designed some of these levels are. You can tell that a lot of love was put into some of these levels, especially the snow level. You can say I'm bad if you want, but I'm definitely no stranger to racing games, especially kart racers. I realize that this example is a lot more modern, but Sonic All-Stars Racing Transformed is pure genius. It's genius. It's fucking great. Add me on the Steam, let's play or something. But back to Bomberman. The fact that you have to spend your own money just to progress to the next course seems like a really backwards move. As if they were just trying to elongate the time spent beating this game. Well, at least it's not very difficult. Let's keep going. Uh, so here we are at... And here's where the real challenge, the not grindy challenge of the game comes into play. In Dino Mountain, you must become one with the mountain. No longer are you flip-flopping all over the place. You are the mountain. To stop being the mountain means failure. There is no room for failure. So now that we're done with that, let's move on to the next level, which looks to be the last level, Bomber Ca- Hang on a second, guys, I'm getting a call. Hello? Green Louie's dead? You say it's neglect and malnutrition? Okay. Okay, I'll be right there. Um, I- sorry guys, I'll, I'll be right back. I'm back. Let's go ahead and do Bomber Cat. Are you kidding me? But, if you recall what I said earlier in the video, I mentioned that you could bet against your friends. Copy your file, load it onto the second player, place your bets. Montage! All right, we've done it. Check the bomber bank. We have the money. Go ahead and spend your hard-earned money on all the animals. Oh, look, some more popped up. I hope we don't need them. I don't want to do that again. Let's go ahead and use the brown Louie here. He's the best one I got. And boom, right away, Bomberman's on the black Louie, and he's here to fuck us up. But before we get into the race, let's talk about this level just a little bit. It wasn't until right now, when looking at this footage, that I realized that this level was based off of an actual classic Bomberman stage. Going back to what I said about level design, they did a really good job, but you can't tell because you're struggling the whole way through. It is an absolute shame to see so much love and care gone to waste in this game. But the least I can do for the late Hudson is go ahead and beat it. So let's do it. Wow, I... Uh, I guess my Louie was too good. And we're taken to the credits immediately, so I guess that means we beat the game. We don't even get an extra stage to do. Huh? We did it! Well, that's that. It wasn't too bad. Could have been a lot worse. We had fun, right? Yeah, we have lots of fun. Nope. <laughs> get up. Get up. Get up. Come on. Get up. Come here. A game like this should have been hugely successful. That's, <laughs> isn't that what's expected after this kind this of thing? This should be a top notch porno. Really classy. I'm just gonna record you guys' dialogue and put it as an outtake. Oh god. My mask. My mask. Fuck. Fuck. No. no. <laughs>